You know, God is, is, is powerful. He's almighty. Uh, but the other thing is, he's so different than you and I. He doesn't uh, act like you and I. He doesn't think like you and I. He doesn't move like you and I. And, and the more challenging one is, guess what? He doesn't speak like you and I speak. So how do we know what God is saying? How do we know this? We want answers to some very difficult situations in our life. So how do we know? Well, you know, the ancient writers say that God spoke in many different ways in the past, but now he speaks through his son. Well, well how does he do that? Well, you know, a very challenging time for Jesus was the time in the garden, and we all know about it, where he was wrenched in prayer about a difficult decision that was pending in his life, his death. And he was beseeching God. He was asking and asking. God did not speak aloud. He, he wrestled in prayer all night, and then wild band came to arrest him and and then Jesus does something he, he he asked the question he goes what what are you doing why are you doing this why have you come out to get me Jesus is even asking a question and seeking an answer and what does he say in that sentence he says this is only happening to fulfill the biblical text man what do, we, what do we learn in this moment? You know, you want to hear God speak to you? I, I tell you, there's three things you got to do. It's, it's prayer, it's people, and it's passages. Well, well, what do I mean? I, well, we've got to wrestle in prayer. Well, just like Jesus did, we wrestle. What do we do in wrestling in prayer? We lay before God our will. We lay before him our genuine desires, our wants, our needs, our concerns. We lay them before him in great anguish. And then what do we do? Well, we watch as he moves through people. Well, how does he move through people? Through situations, just like he did with Jesus. The scenario was painting a picture and it was becoming vivid. He moves through people, their advice, their, their insight into the, our lives through their life experiences. He moves through people, situations where what happens when we get to see what people are doing and it helps us to what then? Find passages. Well, Jesus, he found passages that depict his situation. We, too, find passages in the Bible. And now, all of a sudden, through prayer, laying our will before God, wrestling in prayer, through situations, through the people that are around us, whether advice or scenarios, and then we find passages that mimic what we're going through. And guess what? God speaks. We get a clear answer from God. For God speaks through prayer, through people, through passages, if we mimic what we see in the Master, God will speak.